which a person who is having tuberculosis uh, in his body and is suffering from a disease of tuberculosis he usually transmits the tuberculosis box to around 20 patients or 20 other people rather than patients 20 other people in his during the course of his illness uh, the infectivity might be more or less depending upon how strong are the bacteria in his body and uh, what is the exposure level to which he is exposing other people. For example, if he is a, a worker who is staying, staying in a very closed community where there is a lot of overcrowding uh, and there are so many patients, uh, people who are staying in the same house under the one roof, then he is more likely to transmit the tuberculosis to more number of people. And if suppose he is a relatively affluent man who doesn't go even by a public transport and mostly stays indoors, he would be able to transmit the tuberculosis to lesser number of people. But on an average, a person while he is suffering from active TB will pass it on to around 20 people this particular illness. Out of these 20 people, two will definitely go on to become infected and they will further transmit it to another 20. So the chain reaction increases the total number of tuberculosis patients in a community and that's why it's a very uh, a strong communicable disease. Also, uh, the tuberculosis typically spreads through the air to even longer distances that a person who is sitting in within one or two feet only will not be exposed to the tuberculosis bacteria. If I am coughing, I am suffering from TB and I am coughing aloud from over here, then I may be uh, spreading out TB to even uh, slightly distant, uh, distant places as well and uh, uh, not only to a person who is sitting back in front of me. So tuberculosis is an infect infective disease, it's pretty infective disease. And obviously naturally if it is so infectious then the next question comes as to how do we uh, control this infection. So the best way to control is a person who is suffering from tuberculosis should have a conscience of mind uh, and should not be going to the crowded places or should not be going to places where he can cough or he can spread it to others. Specifically, if he does go to such places, then at least he should cover his face and nose with a good mask and try to cough into the mask if at all he has to cough in a public place. Also, he should stay isolated whenever possible, at least till the time the medicines have taken the effect and tuberculosis bacilli and bacteria are dying from his body. So that, that the onus lies on the patient himself as to how he can spread less TB in the community. Uh, but there are other ways of uh, preventing the spread of tuberculosis also like there is a BCG vaccine which we generally give it at the time of the birth to all the infants. Also there is something called as INH prophylactic therapy specifically people who are HIV positive they are very likely to develop tuberculosis or they can uh, uh, they can acquire tuberculosis bacteria also very fast and then they can develop TB also very fast. So they, they have to take something called as INH preventive therapy if they are mind positive. So uh, these are slightly complicated ways but I think the com common language I would say that you cover your mouth and uh, nose with a mask or with a handkerchief if you are suffering from tuberculosis and uh, cough into it rather than spreading the bacteria. All around. So that's how you can protect yourself. Uh, the treatment of tuberculosis lasts for at least six months, and if it's a drug, if it is a drug sensitive tuberculosis, the treatment lasts for six months. If it is infecting the neurological tissues like brain, then the treatment should treatment lasts to of up to 12 months and if it's a drug resistant tuberculosis then the treatment lasts for at least 20 months so these are the standard guidelines uh, why tuberculosis bacilli take too long to die is because they are slow growing bacteria their metabolic processes are different than routine bacteria and also these bacteria have a special capability to hide inside the body cavities where uh, the environment is uh, very uh, specialized that they, they can hide into acidic vehicles uh, or vesicles inside the cells or they can hide inside the environments which are having very low oxygen tension 
so for our own body immunity cells to reach those places or even the drugs to reach those places is also difficult as well as when the tb bacteria divide they grow very slowly so the action of the drug also becomes very slow and that is the reason why the tuberculosis treatment has to be continued for very long duration like 6 months 12 months 20 months and uh, sometimes you have to give even injectable medications specifically in drug resistant tuberculosis for up to even 8 months so it's a very long drawn thing if somebody had tuberculosis even 6 months back and he has taken full treatment uh, and has been declared cured or completed treatment who has got various ways to classify the successful treatment so if the treatment has been completed successfully then that person can give blood at any point of time actually while you are suffering from active tuberculosis it is not uh, 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 worth donating blood but after you are cured declared cured you can give blood provided your general health is good not an issue